Are you going to cut my hair? Yes, if you wet it. But I've just dyed it, so it's going to drip, drip, drip red everywhere. Well, that's how it normally does when you're here, all over the carpet, all over my white towels. No! But it's never you. I think the dye came off of my hair. Come on, own up. I don't know what you're talking about. Or Dad. No, I, I think I bought my towels round here. No. And you kept them. No. We get that dye all in the most weird places. So, you've got something under your arm. It looks like a slug. <laughs> it's a slug. No, it's, it's the name of your T-shirt. Did you know it's under there? Yeah. You say it every time I wear it. Do I? Yes. <laughs> <sighs> so, Mum's going to cut my hair. I'm wearing my mask. Oh my God, you did oh. What are you wearing? A mask. Pull it down properly. Yeah. <laughs> 2020 fashion this. I dyed my hair this morning and it looks awful. So, well done to me. What are we going with today, hairdresser? Going with a sort of short crop, pixie style. No, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> Mum used to cut me a fringe when I was young, oh. but because I've got a middle parting, it used to be like that. No, it's your hairline. It's your natural hairline sticks up to the sky, so the fringe mm. would never lay down. Wait, do you want to do a hair? Uh, get the scissors mm. and stand next to me and like, like this at the camera. Wait. <laughs> 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 what a weird mum. Well, <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> Wearing a plastic bag as a cape because my mum couldn't see my hair on my dark top. I can't believe how long it is, I didn't realise. Well, you did cut it before, didn't you? When was that? Well, before lockdown. Beginning of the year. Mm. How you doing? Good. How much do you charge? I didn't check. <laughs> oh, well done. You're using your visor well. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. No wonder I could. No wonder I could breathe. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, mine's about to ping off my ear. It's hardly any. You can see it on the floor, so it's hardly any. Do you want me to feel it? To make a fuss about it. No, so. I know. I just wanted to. No. Do you want me to? Shall I feel it? Yeah. Yeah, that feels much better. Maybe a bit at the front. These front bits. Straight. Middle. I keep having really weird like flashbacks. Like just then, I got a flashback of us being in the car with Neo and hearing the blimmin oil cap lid pop off <gasps> going up to pay her. Yeah. And with us hearing it and then going back for it. Oh, that's where I was just then, that second. Did I tell you about my, my deja yeah. vus? It's really weird. I, I think at your length, unless you have a proper cut from somebody, it's not going to really notice the, what, what I do. What did you say? No. <laughs> I've come to see one of my besties, Charlie, who's also a viewer of my channel. What did you just say? No. Come on. No. We're socially distanced. She's on her other sofa because her flat can fit two sofas in and her kitchen isn't in a cupboard. So, what were you saying? You missed my videos? No. She's nodding. I've not missed kitchen in a cupboard. <laughs> Kitchen in, come on, sing it. Right. Kitchen in a cupboard, kitchen in a cupboard, kitchen in a cupboard. No. <laughs> Good freaking morning. <laughs> Firstly, it's not morning. Brilliant start. Welcome back, Lauren. It's um, 2.46, 1.46, I can't even read. I didn't ever think that I'd become that person with a picture of their niece. As their phone background but she is the cutest munchkin in the world so um i got my first cuddle with her last week since march which is like half of her life which makes me so sad but hey it was so lovely uh yeah happy sunday i'm still alive i've survived that's not funny no honestly that's not funny um I'm having a coffee in bed. I've just slept for 12 hours and I have no plans today. Absolutely perfect Sunday. Perfect, freaking perfect. I've just had breakfast in bed. Just had a biscuit in bed. These from Lidl, they're like 60p for 369.9. 
and they're amazing. But I once, I recently learned from Seda and M that um, I eat, they eat like the chocolate rim first and then eat the biscuit. So it's given me a whole new project during lockdown. It's not lockdown anymore really in London. Things are pretty much getting back to normal. We still should be social distancing and stuff, but people aren't. I am, hence me being in bed alone on a Sunday. It's now half three. So it's taken me two and a half hours to put a bra on. And it's not even a real bra. It's a sports bra, which we all know is not a real bra. Um, what am I even doing this video for? I've forgotten. I'm such a nosy neighbour, honestly. I spend all day just staring out my windows, just like watching passers-by. I mean, what else is there to do at the moment? Nothing. Anyway, it's um, 2nd of August today, is it? I think so. How is it August? July and June. June and July. Must have about two minutes, didn't they? I just did a whole, like, cute bit and it wasn't even recording. So, uh, yeah, it's August, August 2nd. Um, have you missed me? I've missed you. Have you missed the... Ugh. It's messy. Uh, kitchen in a cupboard. This, this hair is giving me, like, go it's goals today, isn't it? It's like this because I went swimming yesterday. I know, so, oh, so, I'm so lucky to not only live in a country that is not in lockdown anymore, because obviously certain places have gone back in or whatever's happening. Um, and obviously lucky to have a gym membership that has a pool. Uh, but I did water aerobics yesterday and it was magical. I've been a few times this week, four or five times. So I feel like I'm getting back to myself. I feel like my personality, well not even personality, myself just like washed away during lockdown as it were but I feel like I'm getting back to it which is which is a nice feeling to have question will I ever get to an age where I don't consider cereal an any time of the day meal because I'm hungry it's five o'clock and I was like just fancy some cereal so I've got some fake special K like little version some blueberry wheats almond milk and banana and it's hitting the spot just thought I'd let you know that. I feel like this morning I've made history and I kind of feel like I want to share it with you. Um, it's 8am 8, 8 and I've already been for a swim. What's happening? Um, already been for a swim, already home. Don't get me wrong, I know how lucky I am not only to have a gym membership that has a pool, but to have a gym that is open at the moment because it feels like everywhere in the world is just not adding up obviously because we're in a pandemic um i also did a wash last night so all my clothes are done i made my bed before i left to go to the gym and i even washed up before uh going to bed last night so i know i'm normally ridiculously snug anyway but this is like off the charts smug have you missed it Yes, kitchen in the cupboard. Kitchen in a cupboard, kitchen in a cupboard, kitchen in a cupboard, yeah. Luckily, I don't have neighbours there at the moment or there. They've both moved out, probably not because of me, probably because of me. Uh, so there's been some changes in the kitchen in the cupboard. Um, and now we have this, which holds up. Um, which has my washing up liquid, my anti-back spray, and normally my like coffee capsules go here. Then we've got this, which is overloaded with cutlery, and then this for like the big cutlery. It's just one of those like cutlery stands from Ikea, but I've just like attached it with hooks. I've like used these hooks to just like attach it to the, to the thing. And it works quite well. I also bought one of those, um, I bought one of those magnetic knife holders because I'm an adult and um, that's what adults do. Um, do you wanna have a look in my cupboards? Just because, why not? I mean, I feel like I've got loads of food in here. So we have tins, some blueberry wheats, 
random chilies that I didn't use all of. Um, yeah, I've actually been getting for the last oh, six weeks or so, I've been getting HelloFresh boxes, but they pissed me off so much. HelloFresh are terrible. Um, they would forget something every week. It would either there would be an issue with my box every week, bearing in mind it's expensive to get these like food boxes, and it was either something was missing, or one week I ordered like prawn tacos or something. So so HelloFresh is like where they send you all the boxes, uh, all the boxes. They do send you all the boxes. They send you a box full of ingredients for menus you've picked. So they'll send you like this. King prawn and tomato sauce. Was that nice? Can't even remember it. Um, and then they'll send you like the, in the, ing uh, the, the, the instructions on the back. Um, and they pissed me off every single week. Um, HelloFresh, if you're listening, do better. <laughs> HelloFresh is not listening. Um, yeah, they'd either like forget my ingredients or one week, as I said, I ordered the prawn tacos and then they turned up and it was like, we don't have any prawns this week, so we've given you chicken. And firstly, I'm like not really eating meat anymore. Um, very rarely. I'll eat fish, but not really meat. And then I went to use the chicken like two days later, which was, it, it said it was going to go off about five days in advance. So I used it two days in advance and it was all grey, grey meat. So I, yeah, basically I complained every week and I got money off every week, but still, it's not the point. God, I've forgotten how to talk to you. I've missed you so much. I've missed you so much. I've missed, oh, <coughs> crack. I've missed the, missed, I've missed me. I've missed this version of myself. You're welcome. Um, but I feel like London is kind of getting out of lockdown now, touch wood even though we're probably going to go straight back into it because the north of England is in the lockdown because we've handled it terribly I say we the f I'm not going to get political not going to get political oh hello neighbour you know what this whole lockdown has been like I've just absolutely loved just looking out my windows and like I know where everyone lives now I know what cars they have my neighbours currently are getting their roof redone and the builders actually are very quick they're very swift but they haven't been there for about four days and one of them left their um jacket like hanging up there and i've been like worrying about it for like three days i'm like i wonder if he knows he's left his jacket up there can you see it yeah it's just hanging there and i'm just like do you know do you know that's happened and maybe it's got his wallet in it. Maybe, I mean, I need to get a life. That, that's that's the be all and end all. I have got a few new plants that I thought I would share with you. This gorgeous one. And I love this one because it feels all, all like crispy. I don't know what plant this is. If you know which one the red one is, please comment below and say red plant is this. Thank you. <laughs> I could Google it. But I'm lazy. Um, my rubber plant, my rubber plant is still alive and hates me. It's lost three leaves now because it hates tap water, even though I got a freaking filter for it, even though it's from Olio and it was free. Yeah, I've got a Pelia, Pelia peperomoides, which has just ooh, had a couple of babies. Who is drilling at 8 a.m.? I wish I was. <laughs> um, well, it's 8:20. Thank you. It's 8:20. I am smug as hell. I'm sitting here. I've just got my coffee. Put some of my washing away. The washing that was dry. Uh, made my bed, and now I'm having a delicious breakfast: smoked salmon, scrambled eggs. And I thought I'd gloat because this is not normal music like Lauren Life. This is some angel that's taken over my body. Anyway, I'm going to eat this before it gets cold. I'm trying to get the motivation to film. Hello. Um, I've even put makeup on, but I'm back in bed. Okay, 
I saw this thing on TikTok the other day, even though I keep banning myself from TikTok. It says, if you want to do something, just count five, four, three, two, one, and just do it. So, five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> she's up. Oh, she's probably up. Hello, have you missed me? I absolutely love this studio in like early evening because the light in it is pretty. So, hello, welcome to freaking August. How the F did that happen? I don't know. Let's get some nice light on my face. Where is it? Oh, it's still quite high. I mean, smash great content already. Where's the sun? Oh, <laughs> I stopped my toe at the same time. Oh, brilliant. Oh, you know what? It's right in the crevice. Oh, there it is. Because um, my studio is, well, the house I live in is north facing, I get about 10 minutes of sun in the evening and 10 minutes of sun in the morning. So that's some useless information you didn't need. Let's change arms, because my arm's hurting already. I'm feeling like a snack right now, not gonna lie. Physically, and physically, I mean, I look like a snack, and I'm feeling like a snack, because, well, it's dinner time, so. Hello, I really like this. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know that. Um, oh, wow, I don't even look like me, I look like a, intruder imposter there we go i feel like i look like an imposter because i look semi normal for the first time since like march Ooh, he's got blue hair nice hair mate oh he's cute as well anyway i mean this has been a freaking awful time hasn't it it's terrible um i hope you and all and your families are well tell me uh, tell me something that you have begun to appreciate in 2020 because I feel like I saw a meme the other day that said instead of 2020 being the year of things we got it was the year of things we learned to appreciate and I think that's so important in life like I've appreciated my peace and quiet that's freaking for sure I tell you that oh I say that and someone like screams outside I've appreciated my own space I've don't get me wrong I've been, you know, very human at this time and I've beat, beat myself up a hell of a lot about a hell of a lot of things, but I am seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now and it's looking good. It's looking good. Um, I, oh, let me show you. I got sent to the cutest earrings. They have boobies on them, like how freaking cute are they? These came all the way from Australia, which is blow my mind also. Um, but Amy at Say It To My Faces sent them to me and it was, the packaging was so adorable. It says, I'm delicate. <laughs> she wrote, aren't we all? Yes, yes we all, uh, yes we are all. And yeah, just really sweet little note and loads of like, little cute compliments written on the paper that the box was wrapped in just amazing so yeah go check her out they're absolutely gorgeous and they're so lightweight as well so i always hate like really chunky earrings because because i don't wear ear I, wear I wear earrings but um i used to wear them really heavy and they used to stress me out but these are like amazing i'm up she's up again she's up it's a miracle so it's dinner time but well, it's about 20 minutes after you just saw me. Oh God, I need to hurry up. Okay, um, so last week was the first week I went over to Gusto. Now this is not sponsored in any way. Um, um, yeah, this is not sponsored in any way. Uh, I got a deal because my friend Maggie, who lives up the road, gets uh, got Gusto at the same time as me because we were on HelloFresh together and now we've gone to Gusto. I mean, this is first of all problems. Yeah, so we both tried it for the first time last week and uh we both really liked it so i think we get codes i think there's a code where if you use it then you get 15 pounds off a box i don't know what it is i think there's a code so if you're interested in it i will put a code below i will say because i've seen other people talk about this and they never mention this that if you do use the code i think it gets money off my box as well or something so i'll write whatever it is or whatever i get i'll write below so if you want to use it fine um so yeah they get the little you get the little cards um 
I like them because number one, they're half of A4 because Hello Fresh ones are A4, so less paper already. Um, they give you your instructions. There's also an app where you can use the instru instructions. Ingredients. Zest half a lime. Try to grate lightly with a micro plane or sharp box grater. I don't have any of that. Ro <laughs> Wait, do I? Oh dear. Uh, roll the lime with your hand on a hard surface to release more juice than cut in half. Hmm. Last week I had this 10 minute chili paneer masala. It was probably, it would look nothing like that, it looked way nicer. It was probably one of the nicest things I've ever made myself. I know, it, you know, I was guided. And it was basically cheesy curry, but it was banging. So, today we're having Brazilian haddock, mock, mock something, mock something, and zest lime rice. So, okay, wish me luck. <laughs> I've got a Zoom call tonight, so I kind of made that in a rush. But, well firstly, okay, firstly I dropped it down myself whilst cooking. So, I'm already a mess. It doesn't look anything like the picture. Because... I messed up the rice because I never cook rice and so I just mashed it all together but let's have a taste of it together shall we it's so hot oh it's already look I haven't even had a bite it gave um it gave a fair amount well it gave a bit of chili and it was like be careful it's hot and I was like don't patronize me so um let's go oh I've been watching professional MasterChef loads recently and I keep thinking, I wonder what they'd say about this food. So it's now the next morning. My camera died last night, hence no update on dinner, which I will give you later. It's five to seven. I mean, it's not early in anyone's books apart from mine, but I'm at the gym and I'm about to go for a swim. And just proof, by the way, saying I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm knackered. It's now nearly five to eight, so I had about 40 minutes in the pool, even though we're only meant to have half an hour slots at the moment, but no one else got in after me. Um, it was quite busy. Like, how dare anyone else get into my pool? <laughs> but I feel like I've, I feel tired. I feel like my body's tired, which I suppose is a good thing, because I don't feel like I pushed it at all. I didn't push it real good in any way. But I went and I stretched my body and I moved, so... I need to stop being so freaking hard on myself. Um, yeah, I need to be more. Oh, I'm dripping, dripping everywhere. I'm starving now and I really need a coffee. Don't need a coffee. I really fancy a coffee. So let's, I'll take you home with me and we'll do a day. Oh, I'm going out tonight. Oh my God, this is gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a cool day. Back home, happy Wednesday. So, uh, for breakfast this morning, I have cereal. Um, I have fake Special K. As in, when I say fake, I mean like the Aldi version. Uh, sorry, Lidl. Oh, I've got a hair in it. It's my own hair, it's fine. Um, oh. <laughs> it all, like came out and it was tangled around bits. How? How has that happened? My hair is up. Um, fake, fake Special K. Some blueberry wheats. It's not focusing, but they have blueberry inside. Uh, banana and some dates on top. Simple. Hits the spot. Soya or oat. But yeah, I feel I feel knackered. It's at half eight and I'm knackered. <laughs> knackered. That's such an English word, isn't it? Also, you may be wondering why I have my blinds down. It's because, as I said last night, I spend all day looking out. So this is like my human version of like blinkers that a horse wears. So I just can't, I just have to like focus on my work. Otherwise I'm like, oh, look, that neighbor's wearing this today. Oh, where are they going? Do, I mean, I'm such a nosy neighbor. I've named some of my neighbors. I don't even know if they're real names. I've just named the new ones that have just moved in. I've named her Annie and him Jack because what else is there to do at lockdown? If you haven't named your neighbors yet, you're not even doing lockdown properly, so I suggest you get on the... Shut up, Laura. So if you know my mum, you will know that she loves bubbles. Because she's a child. No, she just loves bubbles. And I think these pictures are from about five, maybe six years ago. But look at this amount of pictures that my dad has taken. 
of my mum like playing bubbles. It's just I just swear. I just love it so much. Oh, big one. All different lighting. Okay. So yeah, I just thought I'd all oh, bubble on the floor. Yeah, I just thought I'd um share that. Oh, we've got something different lighting now. <laughs> Oh. oh, now we've got a bit of the pool. Lovely. I mean, this is just relationship goals, isn't it? Marry someone who takes five million pictures of you trying to get a big bubble. There you go. That's it. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> hello, hello. It's now 19th of August. It's about a month, no, about two weeks since I filmed anything. And um, I've just been swimming, hence my wet hair and sweat. Um, I just did aqua, which was great. Um, I wore a swimming, so I've got two new swimming costumes. I got them from Simply B, and they're both amazing. They're both really good, but oh, they're wet. But one of them I just wore. One of them's high neck, which is and it like does up high at the back, which is great. So these don't explode out. Um, and the other one is, well, it's not low. It's probably to about there. But obviously when you're jumping, it feels like they're gonna, it, there's gonna be a boob explosion in the pool and nobody wants that. Well, actually, that's a lie. There's this guy. <laughs> Good segue, Lauren, well done. 10 points. There's this guy who, so when I first started joining, when I first joined this gym in like October, he was there in the pool and, um, I saw him like looking at me and I was like, oh, f f f f um, and I don't mean that in a big headed way. I don't mean it. He was just looking at me and I was like, oh, did you, you just don't want it. Like I just wanted this to be there to swim and to not feel like there were any, anyone taking any notice. Do you know what I mean? Um, not that I was self-conscious at all. I was just like, f f off basically. <laughs> Don't have time for this. I'm having to think about, oh, I'm going to avoid this. I'm going to avoid this time. And it just makes things awkward. So then I've seen him quite a few times in Aqua. Um, but it's fine because he's normally at the end, other end of the pool. It's quite a big pool. Um, and then he was there today. And um, after the class finishes, uh, two people like put the lane like barriers back up. And I did it. And I went down to the other side. And he was there. So, th so the first time I ever saw him, he was like, hell. He's got a creepy voice. And I was like, hi. And then I literally just swam off straight away. And then the second time he spoke to me, this was again in October time, he was like, um, hello, you're lovely. And I just went, no thanks. <laughs> just swam off. I was like, there's no point in, I'm saying thank you. I'd, if I show him any type of like niceties, I don't want him to think I'm going to be his mate because I'm not his mate. I'm not there to make friends or whatever. And then today, so I took the thing back and he was like waiting there for me to, I was like making my way up the pool with this freaking barricade. <laughs> barricade. I was like, D -d 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 -d, thinking, oh God, please move. And he obviously did not move. And he was like, hello. He, he actually mentioned something about the class, first of all, because the class was quite boisterous and it doesn't normally... Yeah, the the teacher actually had personality today and normally he doesn't so he was like wow that was like a different class I was like yeah I'm not gonna do the voice. Um, I was like yeah it was yeah And he was like I just I just I just I the first time I saw you I just I, I just I need to know when do you when do you come to the gym? Is there a way I can uh, I was like well it depends on like when I'm working and uh, in other words, I'm not telling you when I fucking come to the gym mate. And he was like is there any way I can know when you're coming? I was like, no, there isn't. <laughs> like, what do you expect me to give you my number so you can come to come to the pool and perv on me? It just pissed me off. Just pissed me off. Um, and he was like, you've just got such a lovely personality. I felt like saying, actually, mate, I'm a bitch, so you can f I should have said that, you know. I should have said that. It probably would have made him rethink his compliments. I know, I just, all I said was, oh, thank you. That's a lovely thing to say. Thank you, that's a lovely thing to say. Because I didn't, I, he, he was being inappropriate. There's no need for him to, sorry, just general spying on my neighbors. Look at that messy corner. Yeah, there was no reason for him to say those things. It just pissed me off. It, he, he best not think I'm being his mate from now on. Sorry, ran over, ran over. Went swimming and it was 
great and no boobs exploded so Lauren won Paul zero and look my hair has just done this <sighs> you know those days where you just feel like you want to go back to bed that's one of them today oh I've just been to Lidl do you want to see what I got so I got oafs 12 oafs I got a panini fresh panini for lunch needed cereal that was the whole reason I went so I got fruit and fiber special red fruit flakes as like a topping cereal honey peanut and chocolate I haven't had that one before it looks delicious uh what else did I get oh new baked what's it's sizzling steak flavor <laughs> stop singing uh, Piri Piri, hello. Piri mackerel, white seedless grapes. What else did I get? Oh my god, some of the best cookies of all freaking time. White chocolate and lemon, and they're soft bake. So they're literally, I just, I don't even like white chocolate, but these, these are worth living for, these. I haven't tried these before. Chili, sweet chili flatbread thins. I just thought, why not, you know, just live a little. 20p spaghetti. There we are, goat's cheese. Roulade uh, for said panini. And some boobs. And these were on offer, which makes me very happy. Yes. And this was all £12. Did I show you my new baby the other day? I rescued her from Olio. Um, she's an Oxalis, O-X-A-L-I-S and her leaves close at night and she will flower if I bring her back to life because she's looking a little bit worse for wear but yeah, love! Oh, I also, I forgot to mention, I had a uh, croissant for breakfast from Lidl and here's my lunch Oh, I should have cut this in two but now I've sat down, can't be bothered Guys, it's September. How the F is it September? I need to be careful with that mirror because I'm literally, <laughs> all I've got on is this hoodie and socks. <laughs> so yeah, need to be careful of that mirror. Oh, so many mirrors in this place. Um, it's September, September the 2nd. And I'm feeling crap today. I've just realised I'm hungry and I can't clean up being hungry because I may pass away. So, but I'll have time. I am listening to a new podcast. It is a bit saucy. It's called Sex Pots. And you can find it wherever you get your podcasts, as everyone that does podcasts says. It's just very sex positive. It's quite heteronormative. It's quite heteronormative, so they talk about straight sex quite a lot. But it's um, it's cheeky, and it's just women talking about, well, <laughs> talking about their experiences. And uh, yeah, sex pots. If you fancy something a bit different to listen to. Check it out. Who would have thought in 2020 you could buy smashed avocado in a tub? Now, I bought this because I've had a couple of avocados recently that have been disappointing AF. So, I did look on the ingredients because I was expecting it to have like loads of crap in there to kind of like keep it fresh. 100% avocado puree. So I don't exactly know what that means. For anyone wanting to know, I bought it in Audi. I can't work it out. Tastes like puree. It tastes like baby food and it doesn't taste it tastes like it's got stuff in it. Obviously it does because the best before date is the 27th of um, September and I bought this at least a week ago. So there must be something in it that they're not telling me. Maybe with an egg. It's just a bit. 
I mean, obviously I'm eating the whole thing, so it can't be that bad. Congrats, you freaking lations. You've made it to present day. It's now the tw 27th of September. How? Still don't know. Um, I'm not going to talk for long because I know it's already a 34 minute video because uh, I've just edited it. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming back to me. The love has been overwhelming as always. I'm always just so grateful for everything. I'm in bed today. Not fe I've not been feeling very well recently. Um, but hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it soon. Yeah, uh, I realised how much of a stalker I am looking at these videos how much I look out of my windows. But neighbours update. If you watched the last video, you would have seen that I said that somebody else went in downstairs. He now lives there because he's the son of the other guy. I know. And the people upstairs have moved out. So the flat's empty. And I googled it and I found it and it's two grand a month to rent an upstairs flat. Two bed with a garden. Yeah, fair enough, but still. Mm -mm. Um, and Annie and Jack are still living there. I actually, it was so bizarre. So I went for brunch yesterday with Maggie and um, they were in the cafe just down the road. And I was like, <gasps> it's like seeing them in, in real life, like on street level. And I thought, God, if, just imagine if they knew me. They didn't, they didn't even look at me, but I felt like a stalker. Anyway, my battery's low. Um, just thought I'd give you a little update for the end of the video. The videos that are coming up, Let's say this, uh, so it's in fruition, it's in the universe. Uh, studio haul, because things have changed a fair amount. Studio haul, if you would like that, comment below. Not a studio haul, studio tour, thank you. Um, and uh, questions I've avoided q and I I know, let's rock the boat a bit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, getting to this point. Uh, what do I normally say at this time? I can't remember. You're a wizard of your own life. No, let's. 2020 is not the year for that. For that ball. <laughs> for that ball. Um, I love you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like me to buy me a coffee, there's a link below. That's it. See you soon. Mwah, mwah. Bye.